Let's take a look at this problem, taken from the International Mathematical Olympiad 1987. It says, prove that there is no function f, mapping from the sets of non-negative integers, to itself, such that f of f of x equals x plus 1987. Before we move on, don't forget to give a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications. This is a very different um, problem on functions because when we usually see uh, functions in a math Olympia problem, as um, it's usually a function equations problem. We are given a very uh, complicated, though um, yet symmetric equation, and we are asked to find all the functions that satisfies it. However, in this question, we are told that there is no function that will satisfy this equation, and we have to explain why. So. Um, this equation is the only tool and uh, all we can do at this point is to try to manipulate this equation and see what we can get. My first observation is that this function f is injective. To recall the definition of, um, of a function to be injective, it says that if f of a equals f of b, then a equals b. So in other words, this means that a function is injective, or we can say it as to be one to one. As in, we do not have two inputs that uh, we won't have two inputs giving out given the same output. So to show this, as uh, we can just do it by definition. So pick a b and assume that f of a equals f of b. Then all we can do is to just say that f of f of a is equals to a plus 1987. At the same time, f of f of b equals to b plus 1987. However, f of a and f of b are the same. So their outputs should be the same as well, like using f of a and f of b to be inputs instead. Then, because their outputs should be the same, therefore, a plus 1987 equals b plus 1987. So it's quite clear that a equals b. So indeed, f is injective. So that's my first observation. To proceed, I would just um, try to use another little trick. Um, that I um, use quite often uh, when dealing with functional equations is that to replace this x by f of x. Replace x by f of x then. Or I should use this symbol. Then f of f of f of x, now triple uh, triple f equals to on one hand is equal to f of x plus 1987 because I'm just replacing x by f of x now on the other hand I can say that is f of double f of x so the first the first statement is to say that is um, double f of f of x. Now, in other words, I can say it as f of double f of x. Now, under this, um, uh, if we if we put it this way, then I can say it's equal to f of x plus nineteen eighty seven. Now, this is something. These two are equal. So that things uh, that makes things prettier. So basically, I can tell all the values of the output by simply looking at the outputs of f of, of under f on numbers 0, 1, 2, 3 up to 1986. So that gives me another clue is that maybe I should consider module 1987. To make use of mod 1987, 
I need to first establish some result related to this. Now inductively, f of x plus 1987n should be equal to f of x plus 1987n. So I can take out all multiples 1987 out of f and then just um, add the values together. So I can say this, which is if m is congruent to n mod 1987, then f of m will still be congruent to f of n mod 1987. Another magic trick is that I can define a function, call it g, that maps from the set 0, 1, 2, all the way up to 1986 to itself. Basically, uh, possible results after taking mod 1987, well, uh, to be precise, um, the remainders after dividing by 1987. Then, I define this function g, by mapping n to the remainder when f of n is divided by 1987. So be careful here is that I'm not taking f of n mod 1987 which, but instead exactly the remainder when the division is done. This function is clearly well defined, and we can further say that for all n um, in this set, g of n is congruent to f of n mod 1987. Furthermore, I can try to manipulate that a bit because the, on the only tool that we have is that under double f, under the operation of double f, we can add n by 1987. So I need to add an extra f into this congruence by writing f of g of n is then congruent to f of f of n mod 1987. And we know that by definition, this is exactly n plus 1987. and congruent to n mod 1987. So we know that under, um, if we go through both g and f, then um, under mod 1987, it will go back to itself. And at the same time, I can say that by replacing this n by g of n, I can say that g of g of n is congruent to f of g of n mod 1987. And we know this is exactly n. So we know that uh, we don't need to say that uh, uh, the n will go back to itself under both um, g and f, but except, but actually uh, going under double g. So now under double g, it will return to itself, mod 1987, but we know that uh, we are only mapping between numbers uh, 0, 1, 2, up to 1986, so um, they have to be equal. They have no choice but have to be equal. So we know that g of g of n is just exactly n. Now from this statement, from this result, we know that we can say that by definition actually, g is an involution, is an involution. On the set 0, 1, 2 up to 1986. And um, from this, we can quickly say that um, this involution has a fixed point, okay, um, based on the fact that 
um, this set, the size of this set is an odd number. To further elaborate, we can say this because simply because we can simply um, pair up, we can pair up the um, inputs and outputs. And we know that um, because there are there is an odd number of um, elements in this set, so uh, there must be one singleton, while all all the members of the set are, 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 are going to be paired up, so there must be one left out, and that would be the fixed point. So now we can say that So we know that g of d has to be for this d, g of d has to be equal to d. So from this we can say that f of d equals to d plus say nineteen eighty seven m some natural number or I should say non negative integer. M. However, I can say that for this number d plus nineteen eighty seven, I can write this as f of f of d, and this would equal to f of d plus nineteen eighty seven, because I can replace the f of d inside by d plus nineteen eighty seven. Uh, Mr. M here. And from the result above, I can take out the 1987M out of F. And we know F of D is just exactly D. Plus 1987M. So now I've managed to um, replace D plus 1987 by some other linear combination uh, via the operation F, via the function F. So we can compare like terms and we know that we know that 2M equals 1 and M has to be a half, which is clearly a contradiction. So therefore, such function do not exist. And so that's the proof. Now before we stop, you may notice that um, the key to this question is just that 1987 is odd. So in fact, we can even generalize this problem by replacing the number 1987 by any odd number. I'm going to leave you one question to think about is that what happens when this 97, this 1987 is replaced by an, e, by an even number? We know that we know that such function must exist because we can say if this number is n, um, then f of x equals to x plus n over 2 must be a solution. Now the question is, how many such functions are there? So feel free to um, tell me your thoughts in the comments. I hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to suggest any alternatives in the comments. If you like my videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel right now. Thank you for your support. See you next time.